Yeah. Terror is totally common in spiritual in spirituality. In fact, it's usually a sign that something's starting to go right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, at least the me isn't just feeling like, yes, I'm getting there, and getting there, and getting there, and I'm doing it better and better and better and better and better and better. And, better and, better and, and you, know, you know, that whole yeah. that whole thing. Yeah, it's fun as long as it lasts, but then, <laughs> then it's seen, no. Yeah. And even when there's moments of seeing through that illusion of self, the illusion sees that as a bit threatening, huh? comes back. But remember, that which feels threatened is just an illusion. What to do in the face of that? Relax. There's no necessity to fight it. Although you will instinctively fight it or resist, there's no need to resist the resistance. All is so well, you couldn't imagine how well it actually is. The more terrified your me is, the more well it actually is. The more well everything is. So the name of the game here, where you're speaking from, the name of this game is surrender. Not controlling, letting go of control. Just letting go of it. And noticing that everything is actually fine. Even if you're afraid, everything is fine. (coughs) Your turn. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you. I think I just needed a a strong reminder. Yeah. That's why, that's what I am. I'm a reminder. (coughs) Yeah. Yeah. Because you know all, everybody knows this, right? Yeah. This, and this is natural. You get some opening, and then you get an equal and opposite closing, which will eventually lead to an equal and opposite opening, which will eventually lead to an equal and opposite closing. And you would like to be in that equal and opposite opening all the time. But alas, as long as you're attached to that, you're going to get this. But you're hooked up to want to be very open. But it's, it's a little unfortunate because it will ensure that the closing happens, right? All this is unconscious and not really controllable. Mm. <laughs> That's the good news. No. <laughs> right? There is no way to win that game, by the way. There is no way to get the pendulum to stay on the open side, like to swing up here and go clunk, mm. open, awake, you know, shining. <laughs> yeah. When there is a relaxation, a surrender of control of the pendulum swing because you realize you can't control it, can you? One day you'll feel wonderful and the next day you'll be in abject terror and you have no control over what's going to happen on a particular day or how it will be when you wake up in the morning, right? And anybody that tells you they can give you the secret to how to make that not happen is selling you a bill of goods, right? Yeah. But when there's a realization, or simply there's just getting so tired of trying to control it, or avoid fear, or anything else, there's just, ah. Letting go of trying to make it any way. Letting go of controlling it. Yeah. Because that's where the peace that surpasses all understanding is. The peace that's here when the pendulum swings and you feel very wide open, that's a peace that is perfectly understandable. You're at peace because you feel really good. But the peace that surpasses understanding is the peace where this pendulum swing is relatively irrelevant. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you let go of trying to control it, there's something more fundamental. There's something quieter simpler, much simpler, much quieter. Yeah, 
getting tired of the patterns. I know. That's what that's that's part of the evolution within you is you get tired of it. When you get really tired of it, then you stop trying to control it. Yeah. Yeah. We th it feels like when you get tired of it, like you're doing something wrong, you're not getting it right. But actually the getting tired of it is often what allows the letting go of it to happen. Yeah, it yeah. always happens like that. Yeah. Like anything else in life, right? When you get good, <laughs> yeah. then it's, you let, there's, a, there's a letting go of it. Oh, then there's something deeper. Yeah, and like, yeah, definitely. <laughs> see you. how it goes. I will. All right. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank yeah. you. All is well. Just remember that. <laughs> Especially when it's not. Yeah. yeah, I need those reminders. Sure. You know how so often that... That the greatest transformations come out of the most difficult times of life? Most definitely. Yeah. I mean, everybody knows that, right? Now we, 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 we think, oh, it's the best moments in my life which are the most transformative. No, they're just the best. But it's often when you're pushed up against a wall, sickness, death of a loved one, threat of your own, non, of your own death, something that pushes you so hard that something in you has to let go of control. And all of a sudden, wow, some great transformation. Right? It's funny how we can have those kind of moments in, li in life many, many times, and still we're convinced it's the best moments that lead to the most transformation. I'm not saying going out to go out and purposely seek difficult moments. It's just give them their due, then you won't push it all away so much. You might relax. You might stop trying to push away the means to your own awakening. As my teacher said to me, be very careful about how much suffering you take away from people because you may be taking away the key to freedom.